Hello everyone, in this 1.20.1 Forge video, we're going to be going over how to use KubeJS to add tooltips to items. But before we get started with that, I would like to give a shout out to my server hosting partner, Bisect Hosting. Uh, this is a great service. Um, I've used it for quite a while now, and I've been affiliated with them for quite a while now. Um, so they host many games, over 70. You can see more information on their website about that. If you play th games other than Minecraft, it, there's a good chance it's there. You can also pre-install over 2,000 Minecraft mod packs automatically. So if your mod pack, if the mod pack you want to play is fairly popular, uh, it's probably here. So for example, you see all the mods, better Minecraft, those are two examples. It also offers 24-7, 365 support for, for troubleshooting your server and, and your mods as well. So I can especially attest to this because I use a service, service personally um, for personal servers for my friends. And if I'm running into an issue, they are very prompt and helpful and they're friendly as well in getting things resolved. Also, you have full file access. So um, things like plugins, config files, you can easily manage by yourself. You can also host your server across 20 locations. And it offers advanced DDoS protection. So um, I hope that I, I hope that you find this uh, service interesting and I definitely recommend it. Feel free to check out my affiliate link in the description below for some more information on the site. Um, so that, you know, that, that would help answer any questions that you would have. So back to the code. So let's get started. So um, the first thing to understand that item events tooltip is a client side um, script. So this would be under the client scripts folder. Um, this this uh, method is a way to add custom tooltips for items, as is the point of this video. So inside here, um, we're going to talk about the simple the simple method first, just event.add. So this takes an item. Um, it can be can be an array of items, as well as text as a second parameter. So it's a simple utility to add text to an item. The first parameter um, is are the items, and this can be plural. Um, this can be a string or string array. And then the second parameter is um, the, the text that you want to add. And this is in a string or string array. So it's important to note each string is a line. And we'll see examples of that later. But for this first example, we are applying this to an array of items. So for example, here we have raw copper, raw gold, raw iron. And we're adding a, a tooltip here saying found in the overworld. So let's us let us test this in game. Um, before uh, before we check it out, we always need to reload our scripts. So it's that's done. Cube.js reload server or no client scripts enter, and then you reload. Um, in this case, the assets by F3T, and it will take a second. And then once we're back in, we can check it out. So let's search raw. Iron, as you can see, it has that tooltip found in the overworld. Raw copper also has that tooltip. And raw gold has that tooltip. OK, let's take a look at our next uh, code example here. So um, this example is using uh, rejects, or regular expression, in place of an item. So for example, our example here is going to be applying the leather armor, OK? so. All, all these items start with Minecraft colon leather. So, well, in this case, it's the underscore. So Minecraft leather helmet, 
chest plate, leggings, boots, and horse armor. So as you can see here, instead of an item or in a, an array of items, we're passing in that regular expression noted with the two forward slashes and then our regular expression or text, I mean. So let us go back in game and take a look at this. I'm not going to reload for each example here since I already reloaded for the whole script. So let us look up leather. As we can see here, our leather cap says the message. Our leather tunic says the message. Our leather pants says the message. Our leather boots says the message. And our leather horse armor says the message. OK, let us go back to our code and let's look at the next example. So for this, uh, this example is showing that you can have multiple lines of tooltip using a string array. So instead of passing in just a string, you can pass in a string array. So for this, we're passing in a water bucket as our item. And then we have an array of three strings. So the first string here is going to be our first line. The second string is going to be our second line. And our third string is going to be our third line. So they'll be on top of each other, as you'll see. OK, let us go back in game. And let's take a look. So it's water bucket. As you can see, we have the first string as the first line, second string as the second line, and the third string as the third line. OK. Let, let's go back in our code for our next example. So here we're going to get into the advanced method. So event, event dot add advanced. So event dot add advanced, you're passing in an item um, in some code along with um, another set of open uh, curly brackets that encompasses text to add. So the only parameter here is the string or string array of the items that we want. The, the simple way to add text is through text.add. So we're passing in an index and uh, the text. So um, this is advanced method add text. So the first parameter is the index as an integer. And the second parameter is the text as a string. Um, as you can see here, uh, we are passing in, for our first example, we're going to print the text above the item name. So that is index 0. And instead of the regular string here, we're going to use the text of method because we're going to be showing some more detailed examples of that later. And then all you, it's real simple. You just pass in the string. And then the second example here is emerald. I'm printing a, a, a message between the name and ID, assuming you have F3H or advanced tooltips on. So let us go in game. Let's take a look. First, at our diamond. As you can see here, it prints your first above the word diamond. And then our second thing is emerald it prints out the message below. OK, let's go back in the code and look at some more examples. So next, we're going to be uh, adding a way for you to have a, a message that says something along the lines of shift display more info, as you see in a lot of mods like uh, mechanism, create. Um, those are the mods I can think off the top of my head, but plenty of mods use them. So essentially, if you're not holding shift, it's going to display a certain certain text. And then if you are holding shift, it's going to display other text. So for here, we're going to use a tooltip to describe how to get another star. So um, hold shift to see more info. And then we have some text here. 
Um, for our first line, it's going to say you need three Wither Skeleton Skulls. And then our second line is going to say then you must defeat the Wither. And you can add more, as many as you like, but I I personally wouldn't go beyond three because you might as well use a, a quest book for that, the describe the, the item. So um, again, just using simple if else logic. You can also apply this to alt or control. Um, so you can expand this even more if you want. But for now, this is a good example. So let, let's go in game. And let's take a look at our nether star. As you can see, we're going to, it says, if I'm, I'm not holding shift right now. So it says, hold shift to see more info. But when I have uh, my, my uh, finger on the shift key, it displays these messages that we specified. Okay, let's move on to our next example about color. So instead of using text.of, you can replace the word of with a variety of colors. So um, for this example, uh, I have green. You can also do uh, white, um, red, orange, yellow, cyan, purple, m many others. If you just try typing in, if you just if you just try typing in the word on any good um, IDE then it'll probably come up. But for this example, we are displaying for Minecraft Cactus, the tooltip is going to say it gives you green dye, and we're going to display that message in green. So let's take a look at our example in game. So when we hover over Cactus, it says the gives you green dye, but it says it in green. All right. Um, our last example for this video um, is the bold method. So you can chain this to make whatever text bold. So for this example, I'm displaying a message about coal, saying it's found in caves, but I'm making that statement bold. So let's test that in game. As you can see, Found in caves is in bold. So um, these those were some basic applications to um, the item events dot tooltip set of events. Um, I hope this video was informative. I plan on making another video about tooltips because I know how useful it can be in mod pack development. But if you have any questions, uh, don't. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any suggestions for good examples that I should use for a future video, let me know. Um, otherwise, I appreciate your time and watching this video and have a great day.